All right, YouTube, we got an unboxing for you today from the Dry Fire Mag. This is their new Smart Mag. What they've done is something I said someone should have done a long time ago, mainly Mantis, um, because they have lots of good Dry Fire stuff, is they've created a, here's a little Christian thing. Interesting. Um, here it is in the box. So this is for the Glock. It's the Smart Fire, Smart Dry Fire Mag with laser. So what they've done is they've taken their Dry Fire Mag, which I absolutely love. I have it right here in my Glock 19X. As you can see here, you can tell it's a Dry Fire Mag because it's got an orange base. I dry fire this thing constantly. And the whole idea obviously is to be able to press the trigger without having to reset the slide, right? But what this, I'm trying to take this other one out. It can be kind of a pain to get out. So, you know, if you're not familiar with dry fire mag, did a video on this a long time ago, but essentially it's got this spring when you pull the trigger, it replicates a trigger pull. Works really well. You can actually adjust the springs too if you want to. I never have needed to do that, but this one comes in this little case, which is cool. And this is the trigger reset magazine. So what they did is they created their own laser. Um, so like I've tried this with the Mantis Laser Academy, does not work because it uses the, the firing pin on the gun to activate the laser. So you only get one shot per pull. You have to retract the slide, all that stuff. What this does is infrared, um, they developed their own laser, so there's a little bit more expensive on this for sure. So you can tell this mag has a USB charging port. It's definitely, um, I mean, it looks almost identical. I'd say the magazine base plate's a little, it's the same length, right? Yeah. Yep, goes in just the same. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera because YouTube, you know? Uh, but what they've done is they created their own little laser cartridge that you put into your chamber, same way the Laser Academy works. And you can see it uses a little infrared there to then fire out the laser every time you pull the trigger. So the idea is, wow, those are kind of crazy little batteries, aren't they? And it comes with no battery in it. You got to put the battery in there. Oh, it looks like it goes in right there. Tiny little compartment there. So you put that battery in, so it comes with an extra one, which is cool. Um, the whole idea behind this is that now you have something that you don't have to re-rack the slide, but you also get the positive um, feedback of a laser hitting a target, like using something like the Mantis Laser Academy or some other similar um, system. So part two of this video is going to be that. Um, well, it'll be a separate video. I don't really tell you how the battery goes in, so that's fun. There's no positive negative indicator on here. I'm just gonna have to figure this out. The battery is tiny, it is like, there we go. I'm not sure if that's in right or not, because there's no indicator to let me know otherwise. So that's fun. So there's some feedback there. Put a little positive negative sign on there to know, so people know which side the battery goes in at. Let's figure that out. But, um, trial and error, right? But the idea, put this in your mag, have that in your chamber, and you're doing like a laser academy, you can do multiple targets, you, can, you don't have to re-rack the slide every time, you know, you can get your, your trigger presses in, you know what you're hitting. It's really valuable. I, I use the Mantis Blackbeard, which I just did a video on, the new one, the Blackbeard X, which is for the AR-15 platform, which is awesome because it does exactly the same thing. But the challenge for pistols was finding a way to not have to have the firing pin hit the, the laser to work. So they developed their own system. Now, it is pretty pricey. It was too... I want to say 275 for this system. So the dry fire mag by itself is around a hundred bucks. Um, and then the laser, so 
in comparison, the Maxxis Blackbeard for the AR-15 platform is about $200. So it's a lot more expensive, but it is proprietary. They're the only ones that have it, so I get it. And I know they had to do actually develop this product using infrared and such. Um, give me a wooden plunger. I don't see a wooden plunger in here. Oh, well, it's supposed to be a wooden plunger in here. Um, to drive the, oh, here it is, it's in here. So you got your charger, um, Allen key, and all the instructions in here. So really cool product, kind of pricey, um, but when you figure out the cost of ammo these days, totally worth it. So this walks you through step-by-step -step how to set it up. Um, Oh, maybe here's the battery. Yep. Uh, see, instructions are good. Man, typical man, right? I didn't look at the instructions. So shows you how the battery goes in, which looks like I had it right. Yes, I did. Uh, never point laser at the eyes. So once you get the laser in there, you put it in the, the yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Put it in the chamber, then add the dry fire mag, and you're ready to roll. And there'll be an audible click when they're properly seated. This may require a bump of the palm of the hand. Do not rock the slide with this inserted. Yeah, pretty easy. So we should be able to just screw this baby back on here, right? Yep. So part two of this video is gonna see this thing in action using the Mantis Laser Academy. I've got a little range, air quotes, um, set up in my basement where I dry fire a lot. Got a couple targets already set up. I use, like I said, I use the Blackbeard a lot for that. Now I'm going to be using this for the dry fire mag for the pistol. So best of both worlds. I'm not sure what this spring is for. I didn't get the adjustable spring kit. Maybe this is an extra spring in case this breaks, I'm guessing. Um, because you can get an adjustable spring kit for Glocks or for I think every, all the kinds of different types of pistols where you can um, adjust the pressure. Um, I haven't really ever found a need to do that. I feel like it's pretty good out of the box. So yeah, we'll go ahead and check it out, try it out, but this is just an unboxing. But this is a pretty revolutionary idea. Um, I've been saying that Mantis should be building this for a long time, and I think they might be developing something similar. Don't know, to be honest with you. Heard that, it's just all hearsay. I didn't hear that from Mantis directly. Maybe I did a SHOT Show, actually. But nothing's out and set in stone yet, so they may have a similar product coming out um, because the Mantis X does work with a dry fire mag, but this is taking it to the next level. You can put the Mantis X on there if you want to as well and have the response from the Mantis X plus the dry fire mag plus the laser, and you have pretty much the best dry fire setup you can possibly have. Pretty awesome product. Wish it wasn't so expensive. But again, relative to what ammo costs these days, it's going to pay for itself in no time. All right, guys. Stay tuned for part two where we actually go through some drills, to take it, uh, practice it out, and we'll see you on the next video. So I decided actually just to combine this into one video instead of uploading two. So we're going to unbox it, and then uh, actually... Here I am downstairs, I uh, get it all set up to do some dry fire. All right, we're here in my uh, <laughs> makeshift dry fire range here in my utility room where my furnace and all that stuff is. Um, so I just got a couple targets set up. I've got the Laser Academy, you can see set up there. You can see I've actually just been shooting multi-target, which is awesome, and can confirm that it does work. Sorry, the lighting's really bad in here. Um, bad shadows it does work with the dry fire mag smart mag so as i'll demonstrate here you can see the laser going off there so i can actually run drills i'm not running a drill currently but i will here in a sec uh, through the laser academy with the smart mag from dry fire so my opinion this is the best dry fire solution for handguns out there Right, let's try this over the shoulder view again. I blocked the camera last time. So there you have it guys, 
Um, works really well with the Laser Academy, which is awesome and since I already had it, especially. Um, it should work with most laser type uh, dry fire shooting range type things that you can get. Um, I do recommend the Mantis quite a bit, but also because the Mantis also works with the Blackbeard uh, for your AR-15. So kind of two-in-one there. Um, so you got your, you can do your pistol drills, actually get feedback of your shots. Uh, you can set it multi-target transitions there. And yeah, just can't say enough how cool this product is. It is a little on the pricey side, which I wish it would be a little less expensive and more readily available. It's kind of hard to find. They sell out pretty fast. So hopefully you can get your hands on one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.